Hey there, so Gary here from Craftmaker Pro. So I'm just making this video, so this is the solution I found to actually fixing the Facebook spam penalty. So our site got marked for spam, we still don't have a proper reason for it. Uh, we've actually spoken to someone at Facebook and we were told that the reason, and I'll show it here on the screen, uh, we were told the reason we got marked as spam is because we have a pop-up on the site, um, offering people an opt-in on here. Um, but they didn't really seem to know and as I've uh, pointed out to them, oh, the warning, excuse me here. Uh, so it says in their actual uh, terms as why there's spam markings or whatever that um, pop-ups must not be on ads or sponsored stories uh, that go to landing pages that trigger pop-ups. So we haven't been doing that. We haven't run any ads to pages that have uh, the pop-up on. So we've gone back to them. They don't seem to know the answer, but. Anyway, in the meantime, I've found a solution. So, I'll quickly show you what the problem is if you're not familiar with it. So, all of our links that go through Facebook at the moment, if we open up anything here. So, this is what happens. It comes up and we get this, uh, this, this spam message here. So, it comes up here, it comes up on mobile. So obviously, it's not a very good user experience. So, we can tick that off so it's not spam and then you can go through to the page and that happens on pretty much anything so if we post up a link um, like we did a, a blog post about that when it first happened but any of our old links this is just a link to a, an old blog post so these all come up as spam so obviously not good for us and um, not helping our, our Facebook page at all so but I found a solution to this I, I've looked um, around everywhere and I couldn't find anything that anyone actually had but I've been doing some testing this morning I'm going to bring this over and show you exactly what I've done to actually get this to work so I've got here so this is one of our test pages so I'm going to do here just get rid of that in a second I'll just reload this page a sec and I'll just show you if we do this is just a quick test post direct link okay we put that in you'll see it'll, it'll grab the, the URL uh, and give you the preview etc we'll post that let's fill in the message yeah. maybe that's an R If that's right, we'll see. No. T -E -B -E that looks a bit easier. Okay, let's submit that. Just wait for that to post quickly. Okay, so that's the post here. So test post for direct link, and you'll see if we open this up. Okay, we get our we get our spam message. So what I found though, okay, we'll close that page back off. So what I found is there's URL shorteners out there. If you're not familiar with URL shorteners, um, there's a few different ones out there, and um, the ones I've been testing with are Bitly, Tiny URL, and so there's Tiny URL and the Google URL shortener. So these will allow you to put a, a link in and then it will shorten it and it will give you a different link. So what I've found is if we actually do this, we take our link and I'm gonna use Bitly for this example. We'll shorten that. Okay, so let's just copy that. So that's the, that's the link now that we're gonna use. So test link with bit.ly, paste that one in. See here it's grabbed the same information. So we've got the same sort of picture, the same topics and stuff in there. So it's the same as we did over here. We'll post that. Do their message again. wait for this one to post up and 
Okay, so that's it there. So now we've got this one, and if I open this up, we'll see there's the bit.ly link, goes through to my blog link now, and no spam message. So using a, a URL shortener seems to circumnavigate that spam filter. I've tested this across bit.ly, uh, tiny URL, and the Google URL shortener. All of those worked for all of my tests. And also just to show you, in case you think it's because I already marked it not as spam, if we go back to the direct link, okay, you see we, we do still get that spam mark there, so it's, it's always still on the direct link anyway. If we just close that off. Okay, now I want to show you one other thing here. So the one problem that I see with this We'll just copy that link again. The one problem that I do see with this, so forget the description there, but now we've got this bit.ly URL. It looks pretty um, ugly in our post here. So what you can do with these, um, if we just do this, this is your um, description. So whatever you want to type in for, for your post that you're putting in, we'll add the link in. Grabbing the, uh, let's just grab that link again. Just going to refresh this one second. We'll just reload this page because it should grab that information first. Okay, let's just put that URL back in. There we go. And your description so whatever you're going to type in there so once you post the URL in it will grab this information anyway so once it's done that you can then actually take that out so you remove the uh, the unsightly looking bitly URL or tiny URL or whichever one you use and then that will just leave you with your description uh, you've got the thumbnail image here and you've got your text so you can then use whatever thumbnail works off the page or you can upload your own one you can edit these so you can edit the edit the title and you can edit the description so obviously you put in what you want but obviously whatever you put in here you can then make this look like a much more enticing post for people to actually click on um, to come through to your site and now that you're not going to get that spam um, looking thing come through from Facebook um, it's going to help with your click-through rates as well. So paste in the link, then delete it back out, and then edit your, your title, your description, your image to make that post look as uh, good as possible. And that will get you around that Facebook spam penalty if you get that on your site, if you're unlucky enough. Okay, so good luck with that, guys, and um, enjoy posting to Facebook.